Say hello, Lucy. So today we are doing a kitten d'amour. That's how you pronounce it. I will be calling the brand kitten during this video. But I have a pair of their lovely shoes and I will be wearing them for a week. Shoe reviews tend to go decently well on my channel so I thought that this might be a good idea. Also, this may be, this is a much smaller brand I believe than American Duchess or at least not very well internationally known so this might be something that could expand people's knowledge of vintage style shoes these are the kitten um, la fleur nocturne if that's how you pronounce it shoes i have them in a 8.5 and they are 160 dollars these are sandals and it is winter so <laughs> that's I'm going to be wearing them with a lot of socks and stockings, so I'll apologize for that. But without further ado, like and subscribe, and I will open this box. Also, how cute is this box? So adorable. I know I showed the unboxing and everything in my previous video about my haul, but we are making a video dedicated to these beautiful shoes. And my experience breaking them in. I'll just put this behind myself so you can still see it. Yes, beautiful. Yes. So here are the shoes. They have the unique print of the flowers that was in the collection that they belong to. Um, I believe that this is a fabric or a pattern that was designed specifically for this collection rather than it being one that's just being chosen from a manufacturer. Um, that's how the brand functions. It has with each collection a certain fabric that is specifically made for that collection and I feel like that's kind of amazing. Um, yep, so what I really really love about these shoes is the heel. So if you're familiar with my channel, I have done American Duchess shoe reviews and they also have heels very similar to this, where it sort of comes in like that. And I find that shoes that are shaped in this sort of old fashioned style tend to be a lot more comfortable um, and they don't really feel like you're wearing heels. I don't know, I heard somewhere that it's about like the center of gravity I don't know, rather than it being there, being there, that's, that makes it more comfortable and makes a lot more sense and that's also why good wedges are much more comfortable to wear. Um, so these are, they're called, I think they're called like T-strap shoes. Honestly I just wanted some sandals, <laughs> I mean these are, these are technically kitten heels but they have an open foot area which is nice because I don't really have anything that's not boots which is very inconvenient but yeah they have this adorable design on the heel and look like that before you're getting a focus at all on these very cute design on the front I feel like they are very 1930s inspired I want to say but yeah without further ado I will show you putting them on Okay, so my apologies to everyone. I will be wearing socks with these shoes. Um, it is the middle of winter in Australia right now, so I don't really want to wear bare feet. If I'm going to be honest. Um, today I have not too much in the way of walking, but I do have a decent amount that I want to do, but most of it is on my laptop. So I'll be in the house a lot and hopefully I'll be able to break in the shoes a decent amount today without getting too many blisters, but anyway, we'll put on the shoes. So they have just this simple buckle closure. I'm sure everyone's familiar with that. It has a bit of elastic there. Um, I also wanted to mention about these shoes that they are vegan leather, which makes them a little bit more accessible to a wider range of people, which is nice.
These are going to be absolutely amazing during spring and summer and when it gets warmer. I'm very, very excited for that. But it will be nice for them to be broken in by the time it is spring. How do they look? Very cute. I'm not sure about wearing them with black socks, but that's just what I'm wearing today, so... They feel, so far they feel decent on my feet. Um, yeah, they're not really like pinching anywhere, so yeah, we'll just see what it's like throughout the day. Okay, so here is the first night check-in, and honestly, throughout the entire day my feet have been feeling completely fine, maybe a little bit cold, because these socks are quite thin, but honestly, I've been fine. They feel very comfortable, they don't pinch my toes at all, um, they seem to be quite like a decent amount of width here. So I feel like they would uh, accommodate a wider range of feet. The heel didn't really feel like a heel. I mean, it sounded like a heel, but it didn't hurt my knees at all. Overall, pretty comfortable. And the next couple of days, I mostly just have uni or college for those Americans. Check back into you, but hopefully that will have broken them in as much as possible. But to be honest, even after the first day, I don't think I have any blisters at all and I didn't feel anything rubbing in any uncomfortable places. I think that's because of the shape of this heel being very curved for a real foot, you know what I mean? But here are the shoes after one day of wear and they're not scuffed anywhere which is nice. Yeah, I am very happy with them so far but we will see how the rest of the week goes on. Okay, here we are for day two. Um, this is the outfit. It's rather simple with this bleach t-shirt and then skirts and uh, stockings here. So, yeah, I'm just at uni today. I'm not actually in person online, so rather simple. And I'll put on the shoes. After wearing them yesterday I found them to be quite comfortable. Um, I didn't have any kind of pain when I woke up this morning. Uh, so successful first day and I'm actually looking forward to wearing them today. Uh, the only issue that I've had with them is that they are too cold but that is not their fault. That is my fault. I think they look a lot better with these stockings on rather than the black socks. Okay, day two done and here is the shoes. I have had absolutely no problems with them. They were honestly perfect and comfortable. No complaints really, aside from them being the wrong season. I have noticed that they have this sort of, I don't know if it's memory foam, but some cushioning inside them, which makes them extra comfy, which, you know, that's not an issue, that's a plus. Yeah, it seems to be already moulding to the shape of my foot. So yeah, I think I'm breaking them in quite successfully with no blisters. Yeah, they look, they're looking great. Um, I will see you tomorrow, I suppose. Okay, so this is the outfit for today. Um, it is very, very gloomy outside in Melbourne right now. It's been raining off and on all day, so I thought I'd wear something a little bit more fun. And yeah, honestly, I kind of feel a little bit like Harry Bradshaw from Sex and the City in this outfit with the the bandana on but yeah um, also I am wearing these socks which I feel like I have to pull out for all of these vintage shoe wear tests um, 
they're cute what can i say i should honestly get some more silly socks like this like they are just too adorable lucy's decided as soon as i turned on the camera that she's going to have a bit of a scream i apologize for that and there we go day three let's see how we're going honestly usually after wearing like heels for a decent amount of time my knees will hurt but i'm feeling absolutely fine maybe it's because i've been inside so many days in a row i will check back in with you at the end of the day Okay, so super gloomy to weather today, but I felt like my outfit kind of cheered me up with these cute little socks on. I was mostly just writing the whole day, but I felt cute wearing this top. The shoes were comfortable the entire day. Yeah, I didn't leave the house, so I wasn't really walking around that much. So I can see on the bottom that they are starting to form, it must be memory foam or something down here. They are starting to form grooves for my feet. But yeah, going strong and no pain. So this is the outfit for today. We have the kitten coat, which I am very excited to wear. I always feel so glamorous wearing it. And we've got some stripy socks on. So cute. Um, today is a very exciting day. I'm getting my second dose of the vaccine. So, yeah, hope that these shoes bring me good luck with it. But yes, you might see me in my next check-in and I might be not feeling super great. But uh, yeah, I'm very, very excited to get the second dose because after that, I don't really need to do anything else. Then I will be okay, hopefully. So what do we think of the shoes with the stripy socks? I think they look very cute, very winchy. And I feel adorable in this coat with this. Oh, so glamorous. <laughs> I'm gonna look so good getting my vaccine. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you tonight when I'm not feeling so great, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so end of the day now. Here are the shoes. I'm feeling decent, actually. I'm not feeling too bad right now, but I'll let you know more tomorrow. I feel after having the vaccine but yeah on the first real outdoorsy day with these shoes they were absolutely fine I don't feel sore or uncomfortable at all honestly it was just cute wearing these little heels strutting around but yeah see you tomorrow okay it is the last day and I'm feeling all right honestly I didn't feel any kind of side effects from the vaccine but today we're in another lockdown yes another one so this is just a comfortable lockdown outfit it's not extremely stylish but no one's gonna see me except for you I'll just be wearing these all of today and then we're done so I apologize for this outfit And there they are with these cute little cat socks. Oh, that's adorable with the little cat poking up there. <laughs> the end of the last day and we're still feeling fine. It's been a really great week to be honest. I highly recommend these shoes. They are very comfortable for heels. And by that I mean they didn't give me 
any kind of pain after wearing them for a week straight and they look adorable they are would be a lovely summer shoe that's pretty much it i suppose <laughs> also if you have wider feet you would probably enjoy these because i felt like they fit me correctly but they could even go a little bit wider and if you bought them i think you would enjoy them they are broken in completely now i can feel my the shape of my foot has been imprinted into them so yeah if you liked this video and you would like me to do more vintage shoe style hauls or wear tests or anything please let me know if you want me to do some other shoe hauls shoe hauls if you want me to do some other wear tests from kitten i would love to um they have some gorgeous shoes but for now we will say goodbye won't we lucy no run. Okay, say goodbye. <laughs> Tippy tappy. Alright, bye.